Hello, my crafty friends. Hey guys, have you ever thought about making faux shiplap with a pencil? Well, that's what we're gonna try to do tonight. Um, you know, we've used um, um, markers before, we have used paint before, but I wanted to try it with a pencil just for a different, different effect. Blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just using my box cutter just to cut down the size of this sign that I want. You guys, I'm just gonna use the back side. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, I just did one coat of chalk paint, right? Just wanted enough to cover it because we're gonna be distressing over the top of this. So it's okay if a little bit of that background um, shows through, right? So just got it all covered there. And you can see, I love using these little cut up loofah sponges to paint with. So inexpensive, just love it. So then you guys, I have this um, little shower curtain ring because I'm gonna actually make an O out of this for the word joy. So I'm just uh, taking some of the garland here. I'm just going to cut off a piece of it and start wrapping it around. Now I ended up not cutting off enough. Um, so I just wrapped this one the best that I could and then just cut off another piece and added it in there. And it worked out pretty darn good. Now if you don't have a shower curtain ring, you could just, you know, make the O itself um, just by making a circle out of it. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun to do this. And then when we use this little red uh, garlandy kind of stuff before, I still had this piece left Left over so I thought oh man I am totally going to wrap this through because I like on that J and the Y how it's the greenery um, plus those little berries now those berries are much bigger um, but you know just wanted to add that little bit of red into it so now my surface is all nice and dry so I grabbed out my pencil and I grabbed out my ruler and I'm just doing it the width of the ruler um, and then I just go all the way um, down my board here and then what I decided to do was I grabbed out a um it, actually it's a little paper towel and I'm just smudging across the pencil right because I want this to be super distressed I don't want it to look like we just used a pencil and, <laughs> and drew lines across even though that's totally what we did had to add in another little line down there on the end but I just you know um every time I would do a new line I would do, go to a clean part on the um paper towel that way I wasn't dragging it all around but as you can see it's turning out really fun so then I was like oh let's add in some of the vertical lines so I just kind of willy-nilly did this I totally didn't measure it out or anything like that I just thought it would be fun to you know have it just you know willy-nilly I love that word. Okay, so I just kept adding all of these in, and then once I got all um, all the lines done, I kind of broke it out into threes. I did the same thing with my paper towel, and I just kind of smudged it. I mean, look at this, you guys. I just think this is, oh, it's gonna turn out cool. And then I was like, all right, well, guess what we need now? We need some nail holes. So I just did the little dots, right? And then I went back with the paper towel, did the same smudging, and look at this, my friends. Is this not the cutest thing ever? I love it. So don't forget to follow for more of my daily crafts. Thanks, guys.